The Good Ride, avoiding reality part-time since 2006 and full-time since 2010. So this is the North 45 face mask and uh, just kind of a little magnet here and I'm checking it out on the chair. Um, it's really interesting. It's kind of a two-piece and I'm seeing how, uh, you know, it's kind of a stormy day and I'm just seeing how this magnet integrates um, with my uh, goggles. Just giving it a go. So far so good. I feel like it sags a little bit on the sides, but um, I don't know if I'd want to put in another magnet here and here uh, to kind of finish it off, because this is kind of a pain in the ass uh, to get dialed out. At first it was like touching my nose, and then I finally kind of found a place for it, kind of a little further forward. Um, so I think it depends on nose shape, but uh, I think it's a cool idea because, you know, I love Anon lenses, but sometimes they don't fit. And if another brand fits your face better, this is a quick fix. It kind of helps on the chair ride up, especially if you have your hood on. Um, let's see here. It's a good thing it's not a windy day. But yeah, then now I have like kind of my cheeks covered and this is just popping up through my homeschool uh, universe jacket, which is pretty cool. But my hands are cold. We'll continue this review later. Okay, we're yeah. back. Started on the chair talking about it and then rode it all day. And, uh, you know, it's this kind of face mask that has two parts and I'm going to show it to you here. It kind of magnets on here with this kind of clay thing. There's a little magnet bead here. There's a little clay thing here that you mold into your nose and you have to be really careful. <laughs> it's way up in my, you, did you get some nostril? Uh, no. Uh, but you have to put it up into the, like the nose bridge of your goggle and mold it in and put this little magnet in. And uh, I don't like that process. Um, but then there's a little magnetic bead that attaches here. And then it kind of just kind of helps keep everything like there. And what I like doing is on the chair, putting on my hood and just kind of letting it peek through. Cause that's the one problem I have when I'm um, on the chair, when I have, you know, other face masks. Um, I really don't like the fact that I have to lift up my goggles and tuck it under my nose. And this just pops right there and protects my nose. Cause I usually have this protecting my cheeks. So it's kind of, it looks kind of weird. It looks like I pulled out a hanky out of a suit or something, but it works and it works pretty well. But let's take this off and kind of talk about this a little more. Um, put my helmet down. Oh my God, I feel like I can hear. Uh, but so this mask comes in uh, like a couple parts here and it's, it's a little like tricky at first. Um, so what you do is you kind of like throw this thing on like this and then, you know, you kind of bring this guy down. And this two piece thing is kind of cool and kind of frustrating at times. Like at least it breathes down here. So when you're breathing out, it comes down through here and doesn't like get all caught up and steam back up into your goggles. So I like that, but sometimes it's kind of hard to find what you're looking for. You know what I mean? Like it's uh, like uh, you saw me a couple times like grabbing and I was like pulling up the wrong one and going like, where's that damn magnet? And uh, once I got it though, it's fine. But here's the thing that I really like to see change. Um, instead of this like clay thing going on here with this little like magnet inside, is it that close? Did you get it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'd love to see them just create like a, almost like a sticker, like a little rubber strip with a magnet inside that just, you know, goes like right here or right under here. That's really just low profile and, um, not as clay driven. Um, this thing's kind of frustrating and I, and it takes a long time to get it to look good. I've got my fingerprints all over it. And I feel like I love these goggles and I feel like I've, you know, I've kind of like made my goggle ugly. If I could put a little 
like rubber strip that has some metal in there, just spaced metal, and just put it up right here and have it just hook in like that. That would be so cool, you know? And then a little rubber strip in this instead of a magnetic, instead of beads, um, which hold pretty well, but I'd much rather have that rubber strip. Um, Cause then it seamless, it goes right up in and you could even put like a small rubber strip here and here, and it could really hold up across your whole face. And I think that would do better, um, you know, a little magnetic, little like maybe even little tiny circles little tiny squares that you can kind of put on the nose bridge uh which is the best place for most goggles uh, i think that would really cinch it because you know there there are like anon goggles out there that have a magnetic face mask that works really well it comes up under the entire bridge and holds there and really like it just seems to hold the whole face mask instead of this like narrow point like this has but you know, Anon goggles don't fit everybody. Their lenses don't appeal to everybody. There's all kinds of great goggles out there. Anon goggles are great, but like, I love these Smith goggles because they never fog for me. I'd love to have some kind of solution that would work um, a little better than this. Uh, but as far as the face mask goes, as much as this two piece thing is frustrating at first, I like how it's light. Like last year, the North 45 was really thick and this is way more my speed. I never like a real thick um, face mask. All I have are just variations of thin face masks and like one or two thick ones for the coldest of cold days. But we don't live in a real cold area. Right. You know, so um, having this variation is really cool. And they have another one that's a little thicker uh, that I have in the car. Um, same design same everything just a little thicker and i haven't used it because it's just too thick for me um but i love that they're they're they've mixed it up it also has this kind of adjustability thing on the back so you can kind of tighten it up and seal up your neck so i think all in all it's a great idea i i just the only thing i think that needs a little work and i i'd love to see this brand keep evolving and developing but i'd love to see some kind of just very simple sticker like thing where you pull off this like you know kind of like rubber with a magnet and an adhesive that just pops in and is really just really doesn't um like fuck with the overall design of this but a uh, great idea and as it stands now if you're good with molding the clay here uh this could work really well and the magnet holds pretty good um you can see there and i think all in all it's a great idea um and i hope they keep refining it so there you have it, North 45.